Fitting a tubeless system to your e-mountain bike is one of the best upgrades that you can do. Not only will it protect you from the dreaded punches, it's gonna give you a load of comfort and control too, due to that lower pressure that you can safely run. But it's not as simple as slapping a set of tubeless tires onto your bike. There's definitely a few problems that you can run into along the way. And I'm talking about getting those tires seated. So today, I'm gonna to be helping you seat those tires super easy. Okay, first things first. Now there's a few key points that are gonna help you along the way when it comes to setting up that tubeless system. And number one is actually figuring out whether you've got a tubeless system on your bike already or a tube in there. Here's a few pointers on how to check that out. The easiest way is gonna to be to whip the wheel out of your bike and put it up to your ear and give it a good shake side to side, forwards and backwards. And if you can hear sealant sloshing around in that tire, that obviously means that it's got a tubeless setup in there already. If it's silent, probably got a tube in there. And another great way to check if you've got sealant in that tire is to get the valve at the six o'clock position. So have it down right at the bottom, undo your valve cap, then undo the valve head, uh, head and just give it a quick depress over there and look on your finger after you've squashed the valve in to see if you've actually got any sealant on there. Now, if you've got a fine mist of like white gooey stuff, that means there's sealant. If it's clean, then the chances are that is still gonna be a tube in there. And lastly, the valve core is a big giveaway too. At the bottom of the valve, you'll find a locking collar. Now, if you undo this locking collar a few turns, I'm talking five or six turns out, then depress the valve inwards to the rim, um, it should, if it's a tubeless setup, you'll hear air emerging out of the rim between the rim and the valve. If it's a tubed uh, setup, you're just gonna be able to push that tube actually into the tire well. So give it a quick squeeze down. And as you can see on this one, I've got tubeless sealant actually coming out. So I know this is set up for tubeless. Then there's a kit that you're gonna need for a tubeless setup on your bike. At a bare minimum, you're gonna need some tubeless valves, some tire sealant, and of course, a track pump to inflate it. Now, another real key piece of the puzzle for a tubeless setup is gonna be the rim tape. Now, this is an adhesive tape that actually sticks to your rim. And it's not to be confused with that rubber tape that you can get on some cheaper wheels that you can simply pull off the rim. Um, this is sticky and it will create an airtight seal all the way around that rim so that sealant isn't gonna leak through where your spokes go. That is a really important part of it. And try and use dedicated rim tape rather than Gorilla Tape because Gorilla Tape, if you leave that on for a few months, that sealant will get in there and make it really hard to remove. One bit of kit you definitely need for a tubeless setup is gonna be a tubeless ready tire. Now, if your tires aren't tubeless ready, they're simply gonna weep all that sealant out of the sidewall and it will constantly lose pressure. So just make sure you look around there and it's usually gonna be denoted on the sidewall. Like this says TR underneath tubeless ready and that will vary from brand to brand, but make sure you're definitely using tubeless tires. Okay, tools for the job. Now you need to inflate those tires and you're definitely gonna need something a bit more powerful than your little mini pump that you put in your trail backpack. That's gonna do nothing when it comes to inflating your tubeless setups. You're gonna need a track pump at a minimum to get that air in. If not, something a little bit more powerful than a standard track pump would be ideal. Then tire levers, particularly if you've got stubborn tires that are really hard to get on, a decent set of tire levers is definitely gonna make your life a lot easier too. Then some rags and gloves, just to clean up the mess that tubeless can sometimes create, you know, wiping down the edges of those tires uh, and protecting your hands is pretty good too. And think about where you're doing this. Tubeless setup can be quite messy, so don't get doing that in your living room. Okay, so we've got the tires on the rims, we've got the sealant inside the tires. Next step is gonna be inflating the tires. Now you think that this would be super simple, but it is in fact one of the stages that a lot of riders actually struggle with. So here's a few tips to get that tire firmly clipped onto the rim. Now a real easy way to get air into the tire super quickly is to remove the valve core. If you remove the valve core, there's no restriction to the air as it goes into that tubeless uh, setup. Now it's really easy, you can get dedicated tools to remove the valve core, or if you're real delicate, you can use a set of pliers just to nip it and undo that valve core. Here's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so to remove that valve core, just undo the top part of the valve, then get your tool or your set of pliers and look on the top 
of the valve core itself and you'll see two little flats. Now this is where the tool locates or the area that you should be gripping with with those pliers. I'm just gonna unscrew this anti-clockwise. It's gonna take a few turns, just spin that out. Once it's loose, you can obviously just use your fingers. And that is it, that is the valve core actually taken out of the tire. Now you can have no restriction on that valve whatsoever. So all you're gonna do is connect your pump as per usual to this valve and pump away. Then that should see that tire getting a lot more air a lot quicker. And when it comes to valve removal tools, you can of course get a dedicated workshop version, but this one from Muckoff is actually a valve cap too. So you can obviously use it to remove that valve core if there were to be any problems out on the trail. And after you're done, simply put it back on and just use it as a standard valve cap. So hopefully that should see your tire inflating and those beads actually clipping into the uh, wheel rim itself. You should hear like a click, click as it goes in, sometimes a pop and a bang as those beads locate themselves. But then you need to disconnect the pump from the valve. Now, of course, when you come to disconnecting the valve, um, you're gonna hear a load of air escaping out of that valve because you've got no valve core in there. It's not a massive problem if it actually goes to pretty much near flat. Um, you can plug it with your finger to slow the airflow down, but just get that valve core back in there, screw it in nice and tight. Don't over tighten it, of course. Get it in there and reinflate it and the bead should still be locked into that tire nice and easy and that tire will inflate. Now, if you can't inflate your tires with a standard track pump, you're kind of pumping away like a madman, but it's not quite getting there, then you might want to invest in a dedicated blaster style pump. Now, this is a proper pump for tubeless setups. Basically, it has a, a chamber at the front, which you charge up by pumping it up. Then you let all that pressure go at a flick of a switch. Now, these can be quite costly, but they are definitely really good tools for the job, particularly if you're going to be changing those tires quite regularly. So with this booster pump, I'm literally going to charge this chamber up. I don't actually need it connected to the bike. So we're just going to pump this up to 160 PSI in the chamber. It won't actually inflate your tire to 160 PSI. It's literally going to charge that chamber. It's probably going to give you about 40 PSI, which is ideal for banging that tire onto the rim. Right, so the chamber's all charged. I'm literally just going to connect it up lock that on, just flick a switch and it inflates the tire for you with no problems. You might hear a few pops and bangs as that tire locates on. There we go, just dropped it to 40 PSI. So it's obviously a little bit hard. Uh, it's okay for my style of riding, but if you're going trail riding, you can just adjust that pressure on the front of the pump to, to get it to the bang on pressure. And then you're good to go. As easy as that, a little bit of air is just coming out of the chamber. There you go, inflated. Now a great little hack for seating those tires is to actually get some soapy water. So we're talking about some like fairy liquid and of course the water, add it together and just make a kind of paste. Now you need to apply this to the inner of the tire and the rim itself. Now the idea of the soapy water is going to create a nice slidey surface at a tire. As soon as you add some air into it, it's going to pop across and locate that tire really easy and create a nice seal and you should be able to inflate it super easy. Now if you're really struggling to get that tire bead located into the rim, a great hack that I've heard of is to actually fit an inner tube to the tire first. So you uh, fit the tube as per usual, inflate it, then that tire will get located onto that rim bead. Then all you need to do is deflate that tire. And really important part of this one is just to take one bead off of the rim. That way you've got one bead located in that rim well, and then you just put your tubeless valve back into the rim, reinflated, and with one tire bead already located, you should see the other one seat super easy. And hey presto, you've got an inflated tire. Now, if none of these techniques are working out for you, you can use this last ditch attempt, and this is to use an industrial air compressor. Now, you can find these at supermarkets and down at your local car garage, but these will inflate that tire at a really fast pace, so it's definitely not really recommended, but if you are struggling, you can use it. And remember, if you do get a flat out on the trails, you're not gonna have an industrial car compressor wheeled in to inflate your tire. So it's really important to see what the actual issue is. Is it the tire bead itself or maybe a rim tape issue? Um, that's the usual culprits. But that is it for today's video on how to seat 
those tubeless tires, you know, a few easy ways, hopefully gonna help you guys out. Of course, if you've got any tips, you can add, get in the comments box down below. Love to hear that. Gives a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and get in that merch shop and check out these new tees. And we shall see you in the next one.